Am I short? Hello everyone and welcome back to Afterlife SMP. This is the modded SMP where we are currently on our third life. From a villager, to a robot, to a, well, I'm a, I'm a moth! A rosy maple moth! Oh dear. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm very tall. It's fine. Uh, well, at least I'm cute. Just, uh, just not very tall. Uh, yeah, that, that's okay. That's fine. Hey! How are you doing? Hey, at least I fit neatly in a window. That's cute. Now, uh, what exactly does a moth do? I am a mothling, a winged moth-like creature that originally evolved in the taiga biome. Okay, fun. I have a moth-like body, which means I'm only one block tall and I have less hearts than normal. I can only eat leather and rabbit hide. Oh no, come on, I was getting so good at farming pumpkins too. Look, I, I had a whole patch. I haven't farmed anything for leather yet. I don't even have a way to get leather. And I'm not killing any rabbits. It's okay, I bet I have some lying around in here. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go, three. I'll just need to collect some cows. Uh, villagers, if you don't mind, I'll just, oh, I'm as tall as the wheat. I'm as tall as the wheat! It's all okay, I'll just take a few things and see if I can find some cows around. Look, there's cows just over there, that's perfect. Oh, I suppose I should try out my new wings. Flutter, flutter! Flutter, careful, easy, easy does it. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty easy. I make a good moth, I think. Hello, cow. You know, cows do seem a little bit more intimidating when they're taller than you. Fair enough. Uh, quick cow pen. There you go. Make a child. Wonderful. Okay, we have a source of leather. And I can get in and out with my fluttering. Oh, ouch. Oh, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I'm very good at this whole flying thing. Well, I guess it's time for my first snack. Oh. Leather. Surprisingly tasty. Right. As for my other abilities, aside of flight, eating leather, and being very tiny, there is also armor weight. So I can only wear a mix of iron and chainmail. That seems pretty reasonable. And I heal from lantern light. Oh, I do love lanterns. That's a good lantern. I like a lantern. Cool. Okay, fortunately, I did save myself a bunch of extra tools, which these should all be fine. And I've also got some extra armor, and some of it's chainmail. So we'll do iron body and then mail boots and helmets. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Oh, I found some more leather in here. Perfect, that'll do me for a while. Luckily, I do have some things on me to be able to make some lovely lanterns. Yes, look at the lantern. Ah, oh, it's perfect. And it's giving me regeneration. Well, I think I know everything that there is to know about being a moth now. I got this. This is easy, even if I'm short. There's nothing wrong with being short. I'll just flutter around, keep feeding my cows, get a nice source of leather, and I'll plop a couple of lanterns over here just for you. There we go. Now I'll always be able to have regeneration over here while I'm working with my cows. Lanterns are awesome. And on that note, I decided to get to work, breeding my cows a little bit more for some more leathery food, and then heading into the village to do a little bit of trading, which I hadn't done in a while, and my shop really needed to be restocked. I mean, really. And after all of that, I was left feeling a little bit lost. I don't really feel like I belong here anymore. I was a good villager once, and I kept the village very safe. I was also a great robot once upon a time, but now I'm a moth. And I think I need something that makes me feel a little bit more at home here. Somewhere where I can work. Be among my own people. There are other moth people out there, right? There must be. And so the quest to find where I belong began. But not without some preparation work first. Gonna need an anvil for this for sure. Now it's time to do some enchanting. If I'm gonna survive as a little tiny moth with seven hearts, I ought to be prepared. So, I would like to add these books to my armor for protection and also looting to my sword to help with the cows. First things first though, I gotta try to enchant the sword. Um, smite. You know what, I'll take it. Smite and looting. I have more books, so that seems good to me. 
As for my armor, I'm gonna go ahead and do some low level enchants on this, just to get a basic level of protection across everything if I can. Then on the chest plate, we'll do protection four. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better armor than what I had on before now. I want to find a place where my little moth heart can be happy. I want to be with my lamps and my leather, and it shall be a wondrous place. Um, first things first, I need some leather. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, that's a good start. It's time, everyone, to go on my first big adventure as a little moth. I'm very excited. I've packed all the most important things, like lanterns and my spyglass. And, of course, extra tools and blocks in my backpack. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be fun. I can tell already. I can see the whole world from up here. It's perfect. Hey, look. What's this? This is... interesting. I suppose we ought to go down the dark and suspicious hole, right? That only makes sense. Whoa. Well, the lamps will keep me safe. Whoa. The end. <laughs> oh, it's pretty in here. Whoa, okay. These endermen are very tall. And I am very short. Please don't look at an enderman. Please don't look at an enderman. <laughs> Luckily, I'm short enough to walk right on in. Whoa. Oh. This is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, look at the jack-o'-lanterns. I'll take one. Perfect. This'll help. I'm looking for my moth friends and anything that matches my lovely rosy maple moth aesthetic. So pink and yellow or orange specifically. This ought to be easy. There's already some pink over here. Whoa. And look at all these bridges. Oh my gosh. This may just be the most beautiful biome I've ever seen. Are those jellyfish? What is this? Oh, I broke it. Uh, shears? Whoa! <laughs> Creeping moss. It's pretty. What is this? Bushy grass. This cycle of wondering what something is, breaking it, and putting it in my backpack to take home went over and over until I eventually found a biome that I found quite interesting. Hey, what's this? What a cute door! And a new lantern type! Oh, I love it here! What is that? Is that what I think it is? Are you a moth? <gasps> I'm with my people! It's a moth! You're a moth just like me! We're moth buddies! I don't know what kind of moth you are, but uh... We can be friends, right? We'll be moth buddies together! Look at you. And this is your home? It's a nice home. I wonder if I could take these moths home with me somehow. Like with my silk touch. Go in your home, that's it? And then I just... Did it... Did it work? I mean, I got it. I think I have moth friends. Oh, this is the best day ever. I just knew they'd be most at home here in this pink biome. It makes sense. Well, my pockets are full and so is my heart. I've discovered the moth's favorite biome. And it's epic. And I've completely filled my pockets. I do mean completely <laughs> filled my pockets. So I suppose it's time I actually try to find my way back out of here. Let's just do a little flutter on up here. Hopefully, I'll just be able to find my way home pretty easily. Whoop, my bad. Dodge the jelly. I really hope this is actually the way home. Oh, finally. Never thought I'd be so happy to see one of Lizzie's bridges. Thank goodness for Flora and Lizzie. May she rest in peace. Now, I can go peacefully home with all of my things. Here we are. Ah, home sweet home with my new moth friends. Look at this amazing silk moth nest that I've managed to bring back to the overworld with me. Now the only thing I need to do is figure out how to keep these guys alive and make myself a nice mothy paradise. Yeah, it's not for you. The village is for you. First, though, I feel like I should really tell somebody about the presence of moths. After all, there ought to be other small winged creatures on the server, and I know just the person to tell. Just gotta fly. Yep, there we go. Off to Catherine's. Whoa. Catherine. Catherine? Oh. Catherine? 
Gem? Hello? Hi! Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh! You're small! You're so little! Oh! Uh, what are you? Oh, I'm a moth. Do you have any lamps? Oh! <gasps> you flutter! Yeah! What, what are you? Oh, that's so cute. Uh, I'm a fairy. This is my fairy castle. Cute. Oh, it's the perfect yeah. size for us. Cute. Would you like to come in? Sure. This is my castle. <gasps> you have lamps. Yes. Good. Oh, do good. you like lamps? I approve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamp, lamps are yes. good. Lamps are great. <laughs> oh, uh, I come bringing friends. Oh? I... This? I found, uh, well, you've been there, I, I could tell, because there's all this pink stuff. In in the <gasps> biome yeah. where there's this, you know, this yes. stuff? Oh, there's yes, yes, yes. little moths, and they're pink. Really? And they're so cute. How come I didn't see those when I was there? I don't know, hmm. maybe they're rare, but they spawn in this nest that, that I'm holding, and I'm gonna Is try right to bring them. Yeah, I think so, probably, <gasps> maybe. I mean, I saw it go in, so there's a chance. Oh. The seat. I have oh. to spread the word of the moths. Look. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Isn't Bring it cool? Somebody. It's where my people live. I don't know what oh. they come out for and eat. I didn't. Hmm. I have to research. I didn't know there was other little winged friends. Yeah. I didn't either. But I'm glad there are because there's not very many of us left. Okay. Well, I'm gonna build a whole hmm. barn for these moths and cultivate them. And maybe you can come visit. Oh, I would love to come visit. It's finally time, everyone. I'm finally going to work on my mothy home. Oh, I can't wait. I have all the best ideas. And I'm going to use a bunch of supplies from not only the overworld, but also the end. Especially this nice pink block. First things first, though, let's convert a bunch of this concrete powder. Now that I've got my concrete, it's time to pick a location. Luckily, with my flying, this should be easy. Now, I like this spot where my cows are currently, but I'm thinking over here, nestled into the forest, would be perfect. Yeah, right on the edge of the forest. After all, in my origin, it says I evolved in the taiga biome. So I feel like I would feel more at home around here. All I'm gonna do is clear off a little area for my home. My plan is to use a combination of birchwood, this tenania plank, and also some white concrete to create a really cute barn. I'm going with a barn, of course, because a moth's favorite food is leather. So it'll be a home for myself, my moths, and also my cows. All I gotta do is pick where my entrance is gonna go, and then we'll separate it by five blocks. And another one there. Moths are pretty tiny, so I feel like that'll be big enough. <gasps> Look, it makes a pink crafting table! Oh, that's so cute. In the in-between bits, we're going to use some white concrete. Uh, I think this is definitely moth approved. Now, let's build it up, shall we? Now, I may be biased, but I think my little moth barn is so cute. I've never really done a pink barn before, but honestly, it's going with the aesthetic. I like it. And I think my silk moths will like it too, I, I hope. And the cows. The cows will also need to like it, of course. So the next stage of working on this barn is making it livable for my moths and I. I need to add some fun details, windows and things of that nature. Yeah, and also some flooring, perhaps. First things first, I want to add this top section as like a little balcony. I think that'd be perfect because I, of course, can just simply flutter on in. So we're just gonna do that. And I can flutter over it. Ouch. Yeah, that's really cute, I think. Then I've made a little bit of this glass, which I think would look good in some of these areas. It's surprisingly difficult to detail things when you're this short. These supports are gonna be perfect for along the roof like this. Only thing it's missing is some lamps. Need lots of lamps. There, now it's a much better mothy paradise. These gardens on the outside are making me want to add even more of the cool vines that I brought, like these flowers potentially, and maybe we can even plant some of the trees. Oh yes, those are beautiful. This is perfect. Oh, I love it. Look at the little particles. It's perfect. It needs something else, though. Something bigger. Like a big lantern. I've just realized endstone bricks would actually be perfect for this because they have stairs and slabs. And I can even transform some more of my lamps. Oh my gosh, there's so many. This is a moth stream come true. 
Before I do anything else, I want to be a little bit particular about the roof shape that I've got going here. I just want to add a couple more detailed bits. After all, a good roof shape is vital to a good barn, and we need ventilation if we're going to have moths staying here. Yep, that's way better already. Oh, there's a spider. Hello! I'm a bug like you! We're bug buddies. Except I could fly. But you can climb and stuff. Yeah, okay, okay, a little too close for comfort. I, sorry, I'm not very good with my new wings. I'm sorry, I'm backing off now. Oh, building this might just kill me. Okay, top part is done. Now it's time for the main event, the moon. Honestly, that might be about as good as it gets. That It's pretty good, it's a moon. Now for the most important feature, a moon lamp. Right, all I've gotta do now is the interior and a little exterior landscaping. It'll be good to go. I've planted a couple of trees to grow along the outside and now I'm doing the inside. I've decided that jungle wood would make the perfect flooring. And I can't wait to decorate. So I'll have a lower floor for my work area and then an upper floor up here for my bedroom and general mothy business. This is so perfect and lovely for a moth. I've got all of my lovely floral goods on the outside, my lamps, which I of course desperately need, the moon, and now I guess all I have to do is move the cows closer to me over here and also introduce my silk moth nest friends. I think the silk moths would probably be happier up here in the loft with me. Look at these leaves. Oh, the moths are gonna love it here, I know it some lamps for them, and we'll get even more of these lovely flowering vines. Now, for the moment of truth, it's time to see if the moths like it. There. They can come out whenever they want. I really hope they like it, because I like it. I think it's great. I don't get to build out a pink very often, so this has made me very happy. Going to plant just a couple of other magical things from the end around, just to make sure everything is perfect. Okay, next order of business, we gotta move the cows. I'm gonna try to move them over to this area, I think. It would look really good and it'd be just down from the barn, it'd be perfect. I'm nearly finished with my project, but unfortunately I'm completely out of pink wood. Well, not completely, but I can't finish the fence. So one more trip to the end is in store. Um, my bad. I'm an arachnid. Oh my goodness. Arachnid, their climbing abilities and the ability to trap their foes in spiderweb make the arachnid perfect hunters. All right, I can climb, I'm a master of webs, I only eat meat, and I'm fragile. What is it with bugs and their seven hearts? For goodness sake, don't look at me like that. At least I'm tall this time, come on. I am a spider. Oh dear. All of my moth stuff was rescued from the end by Fwip. Uh, thank you, Fwip. Oh, I even have my head. I'm gonna miss little moth Gemini Tay. My diet is still restricted, but now I can only eat meat, which is lucky because I was farming meat to get leather. This is much better saturation. Let's see, I can climb things. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I could get used to that. I suppose the silver lining of this is, well, I'm still a bug, I still need cows, so the barn is still actually quite useful to me. I should really finish that cow pen. And even better news, I can still access the loft because even though I can't fly, I can climb. I feel like I'm not near as cute as I once was though. Maybe I don't belong here anymore. Ugh, need some more webs anyways. Tell you what, I'll put my old moth head right here as a memorial to it. I guess before I go on any spider adventures, I should really get my gear back. Luckily, I think Robot Gem had some gear left over that Spider Gem can wear. Here we go, perfect. This will be much better. Nice. Thanks, Robot Gem. After getting geared up once again, I decided to finish Moth Gem's mission of moving the cows, since Spider Gem does happen to require them too. I discovered a brand new ability though along the way, which is great. Huh. Um, I think I spontaneously web things. Hold on, I test. Whoa. And I even was able to make some new friends. The moths are out. Hello. Do you like it here? 
I promise I won't hurt you. I am a spider, but I'm a very good spider. Very well-behaved spider. You like the lamps. I used to like lamps too. I'm so happy they like it. That's perfect. This barn now belongs to you two. I will leave my webs out of it. I promise, no webs. Don't have to worry about me. Since I've just discovered my epic newfound web abilities, I know just the place for me. I noticed when I was a moth that I accidentally built my very cute barn next to a very deep hole. But look, it has bad guys and webs. That's like the perfect place for a spider to live. Those are my people down there. They were in fact not my people, but I did get some webs, so that's okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, note to self. Spiders are not my friends, even if they look friend-shaped. They're still not friends. Look at this, if I put my webs in the botanist workbench, we get so many cool options. Oh, I'm gonna make some of these, and some of these. I'm gonna have the cutest web ever. Look at all the options I have. Ah, oh, it's gonna be perfect. Now I did say I'd keep the webs away from the barn because the moths are here, so I can't hurt them. But I can put webs everywhere else. And I shall, I shall. Maybe we could put some here. Ooh, yeah, that's kinda cute. We'll do some up in the library. Oh, it's so beautiful. Don't worry, villagers. I'm just putting little lookout spots for me as a spider. See, I can, I can sit in, hold on. I sit in, I sit in here. Uh-huh, and I wait. Nobody gets past me. Uh-huh, perfect. Right, I've got all my webs together and all the things that I could potentially need. I'm gonna be the best spider there ever was. Now, I just have to pick where to go. The orb. I oh, hear footsteps in my land. Perfect. Not another random would come to steal my guff. Ollie. Jem? Hello. D I'm here to help. Where are you? I can't see you. I I'm helping. I'm oh, what are you doing? Stop. Are you another are you another enderman? We've already had another I'm come through here. I'm not I don't an do enderman anymore. No, I'm come, I'm come just close, I'm helping. Child. I'm come helping. Come to the window. I can't see. Hi. Uh, I you're not an enderman. No. no. I see. I'm a spider and I'm here to help. Oh. I just sit here and I'll catch oh. any of those little mites that come in, right? They're attracted don't. to endermen. I'll catch them. Don't worry. I don't I'm I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, to be honest. Uh, what? Could we not? Could but I'm not good. I'm a good spider. That's, they don't exist. They don't exist. They You're do? I'm creature. one of them. More soulless than the orb. I need you to go. This isn't okay. <sighs> I'm already having a bad enough day as it is. I don't need this. I've been in here for about 10 days now. But, getting moist. <laughs> okay. Well, fine. Enjoy the webs. I'm somebody will appreciate me. Clean up your mess. Now somebody <laughs> will find appreciation in the webs, Ollie. Goodbye. <laughs> I know who will appreciate my spidery ways, Jimmy. I bet Jimmy would love a spider and a spider web. Yep, my web's gonna look great here. Oh yeah. Just get a bunch of those, some of those. We've got, what is this? Hi Jimmy. What are you doing? What is that? Oh, I, I made you a web. Isn't it lovely? What? Wait, are you a spider? Yeah. No, no, no. No. What are you? Get wait, it. you don't. Get rid of them all. No. You don't like spiders? Come on. What? Get. Uh, Jen, I'm being serious. Get down. Right, clear up. Help me. Come on. Come on. I didn't know the dragons Get were afraid of, of spiders. Of uh, all right. Okay, fine. Only, fine. Only dragons? Jen, no one likes spiders. No one. Oh. You Goodbye. Go. No, we don't like spiders here. I yeah. don't think anyone does, all right? Oh. No. I'm going to no, find somebody who does. So Somebody will like I spiders. I don't think so, Jem. I don't think anybody does. Oh. Okay, okay, well, th this was nice. Well, Jimmy didn't want a spider, but across the river, there is this beautiful land. Oh, this looks exactly like where a spider would want to hang out. I bet Shelby could really use some spider protection. Yeah, look at this. This is epic. I just plop a couple of webs around. I really make myself at home here. Ah, a spider would totally hang out in here. This is the perfect place for a spider. We have some things to do today. We have some building. So oh. Hi. Um. A spider! Get out of my house! Wait, I'm, I come in peace! Oh. Maybe I'll have better luck in the next life. 